Your task is to hunt Weddell seals. Siberian tiger. Hey, we did it. Hey guys, I'm Isa, and today we are going to be reviewing Frozen Planet 2 Frozen Worlds by Minecraft. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new posts. You know how climate change is a thing. Well, apparently this is going to be something where we're going to learn about how these animals are affected by it. If I'm quite honest, climate change, bad. We need to get rid of it. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Boop. Okay, guys, we're in. And I am in an... Uh, what are they called? I forgot. Parka. I'm in a parka. <laughs> also, uh, this is terrifying. <laughs> Look at this. Anyway. Oh. Third person? This one? Oh, that's cool. In winter, at the top of the planet, lies an icy wilderness. Not of land, but of frozen water. The Arctic Ocean. Hey! Its surface forms an almost solid platform that is bigger than the whole of the United States. Wait, what? Its presence and condition dominates the lives of all the many and varied animals. To survive here, life must adapt to this world that alternates between ice and water. <laughs> A newly emerged polar bear mother encourages her cubs to take their first tentative steps on the sea ice. I'm a polar bear! Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the polar bear game. You have to guide your cubs through the ice flow safely with to the hunting ground. It is not an easy task though. You will encounter mare bears that will try to attack your cubs. Press hit to scare them off for a short time. Your cubs aren't as fast as you in the water. Guide them over the ice instead. Children come. Your cubs also get distracted pretty often. Press jump to call them. Get all the here! This is gonna be interesting. Children. Come. Woo! Children. May I I pray that I don't lose one of them. Okay. Children! You're gonna die if you keep doing that. Okay, I actually hope we don't come across any male polar bears. Wee! Alright, my children are fine. Uh. Oh, there's okay. Oops. I didn't, oh, that's that's cool. Is that a male or is that my cub? Did I have three cubs? I forgot. Nope, that's a male. That's a male. That's a male. Nope. 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 Okay. Uh. Optimal route. I'm gonna take this way. Children. Children. There are cubs. <sighs> Dang it, you guys. Okay. Stick with mama. Leave my children alone. We wish to be in peace. Please. <laughs> yet. Hey, where do I- Oh, all the way over there? What? Oh okay, yeah, I'm just gonna press- it. Oh, look at the water. Can, can I go in the water? Oh. Oh, I thought that would be like an actual mechanic where you could swim, but the cubs were extremely slow, and if you couldn't get them on land quick enough, then they would- that, That's when you got it. I didn't know that I had to stay on it. Oh my god, these kids. Before someone attacks you, come on. So I'm a female? Yeah, I'm a female. So I recognize that voice. <laughs> the one from the, the little intro at the start. 
I think it's from a blue planet? Uh, it's from another documentary I watched. I forgot what it was. Oh my god, I'm all the way over here. Hang on, how does the animation look? I want to see. Uh, this way, this way. So apparently I'm gonna go into like the eyes of a bunch of animals. I didn't know I'd do that, that's cool. All right, kids, we made it. You didn't die. Oh my God, get up here. Hey. There, oh, look at them, they're cute. Loading new area. So are we just gonna go like jump through a bunch of different animals? Like, oh, uh, you have been equipped with camera and a journal. Your job is to take pictures in this area to help with our environmental research. If you find one of the spots listed, uh, hang on. Uh, if you find one of the spots listed in the journal, uh, take a photo of it. Take out your camera and interact to take a picture. If you take a photo in the correct spot, then new a new entry will be unlocked in your journal. Wait, what? Point your camera at an interesting activity and interact, cap the picture. Once you have all pages unlocked, return to the research center. Oh, okay. It's a polar bear. Hey, be careful, don't get too close to the animals or you may scare them off. Yeah! Alright, what are these about? Let's find out. So I have a drink. Oh! Alright, time for learning, kids. <laughs> Climate change is causing Arctic sea ice to disappear more rapidly and more extensively in the summer. This leaves polar bears with nowhere to hunt for the seals. For the seals, they rely on for food. Instead, hungry polar bears are co coming. Okay, Bob, restart that one, please. I thought I didn't read the second sentence of "for the seals they rely on for food" and got confused. Okay. Information time, kids. <laughs> polar bear. Climate change is causing Arctic sea ice to disappear more rapidly and more extensively in the summer. This leaves polar bears with nowhere to hunt for the seals they rely on for food. Instead, hungry polar bears are coming inland where they can become reliant on raiding human landfill sites and can be a big problem for coastal communities. Uh, where I live, there are bears, like a lot of bears. <laughs> so that's actually something that, another reason why, from my school, literally my school, I could see I could actually see a bear, like, scourging through, um, one of the houses nearby's trash. Everyone could see it, and we were all looking at it. What's that? What is this? I, I don't know what it wants me to do, I'm confused. What's it? All right, let's figure out what this thing is. I'm leaving this green one as I don't know what it does. Oh, it's a seal. It's a walrus. Seal, whatever. Walrus. Got it. All right, walrus, yep. Uh, walruses. Walruses are very heavy, sometimes weighing up to 1,500 kilos. Getting up a hill requires a ton of energy, but downhill, they can take advantage of the gravity and their rounded body shape. So they slide. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, it's cubs. I finished all the research tasks. Congratulations. Oh, okay. We get a new. Yes. More story or information. I don't know. <laughs> At the far south of our planet lies the most hostile of the Earth's frozen lands. Antarctica. Antarctica! 
Here, temperatures can fall to below minus 80 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I'm a Canadian. I don't have to man. I'm, that's not going to be that bad. <laughs> its icy center is almost devoid of life. The wealth of life found around Antarctica's lonely islands is evidence of the richness of the waters that surround them. Yeah, I saw a flag. The Southern Ocean. Killer whales are among oh. the most intelligent of all non-human predators. But each member of this pod needs to eat seal a day, so the pressure is on to feed. They're led by a matriarch who knows exactly what to do. Are they gonna make me the matriarch? Don't make me the matriarch. Hey! Your task is to hunt Weddell seals. Ah, okay, no. Okay, uh, it's not easy, an easy task though. You'll need the help of your pod to knock the seal off your off the ice. Uh, swim through the rings to gather the other whales in your pod. After gathering enough whales, you'll see a bar in front of you. Uh, when the selector is on the green area, press jump. Uh, it's time time limited, so don't hesitate. All right, this one doesn't seem so bad. Come with me, whales. I shall guide you to food. <laughs> oh no, rip my guy! <laughs> oh, we just killed him. Good job, you managed to feed your pod. It's not over yet. The seals will be much more careful now. Continue your hunt. Let's start round two. I feel bad for that seal. <laughs> Hello, my fellow orcas. Look at us. I, I missed the ring anyway. Come, come back here. Wait. <laughs> Look at our pod. We're amazing. All right. I'm assuming that the... Yeah, the bar's gonna be a lot smaller now. Hehehe, <laughs> I get to murder another seal. <laughs> Good job, you managed to feed your pod. It's not over yet, the seals will be much more careful now. Let's start round three. Alright, so another really tiny bar. Got it. Whee! So this one's actually a lot easier than the polar bear one, in my opinion. <laughs> I like the polar bear one much more, but this one's still fun. Aha! Goodbye, seal. You have been sacrificed. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Nice. I play beat games. I can get those tiny little green squares. <laughs> Alright. You have been equipped with the camera. Okay, yeah. We, we did this before. Oh, we got a killer whale. No! Don't hurt the penguin! The penguin! <laughs> okay. Killer whale. Wave watching... Watching. Mm. Wave washing killer whales typically eat seals as they are a major source of fat. Due to the sea ice melting faster as a result of climate change, Weddell seals, their preferred prey, are hauling out on land, meaning the killer whales can't reach them. Hey, learn to grow legs! <laughs> this population is therefore having to find new food sources, like crab. crab eater? Crab. Crab beater, crab beater seals, and leopard seals, and the occasional penguin. Not the penguin! Alright, uh, we have to take photos now. Um. But not the penguin! Leave the penguin alone! He did nothing to you. Uh, I'm still confused. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, honestly, this pinpoint things aren't very helpful. I, I don't understand what they do. Alright, uh... Oh, what was that? Oh! It's orcas! They're doing... Oh, yeah, that's what they do to sense prey, I think. Don't hurt the penguin! Oh, I already had it. I... Get, get out of here! Oh. It's not gonna let me. What the heck? Let me scare the animals. <laughs> this is a game. I can do that. I'm sorry, penguin. I have to leave you to die. <laughs> okay. What's over here? Okay. Is that a baby penguin? It's a baby penguin. 
Ah! Chinstrap penguin. Due to climate change, more of the snow and ice in Antarctica melts. This causes more meltwater, which then floods the nest of chinstrap penguins. The feathers of the chick are chicks are not waterproof, which leads to a lot of them dying of hypothermia. Can I get close to you? I want to see you. No, I want to see him. Let me see him. He's adorable. No, stop pushing me away. Look at him. He's so cute. Ah, no, that, I wasn't even trying that. Oh, oh. See? You sit. All right. Uh. Oh, is that a leopard seal? All right. Time to go to the next group. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna be penguins. Come on, be penguins, be penguins, be But penguins. several thousands of miles further north in the tundra, the spring thaw is only just beginning. When it does, under 24 hour daylight, its impact is even more extreme. Five million square miles of snow disappear in a matter of days. Dang, it's a full on field now. 10 centimeters beneath the surface of the ground, a snow queen is waiting to make her appearance. Who? Uh, who what? A Lapland bumblebee. Wait, what? She's barely alive. All the other members of her colony were killed by the cold. She survived, as bumblebee queens do, thanks to her larger size, her particularly thick fur, and a natural antifreeze that she has in her body. As temperatures continue to rise, she begins to thaw. Hey. She vibrates her flight muscles, which raises her body temperature to over 30 degrees Celsius in just six minutes. That's something Canadians can deal with. <laughs> there is no time to lose. She must now create an entire colony. First, a queen must find a drink of nectar to regain her strength. Bees, it's the bees and knees. <laughs> okay, uh, so, oh wait, shoot. Uh, keep your eggs from freezing in the cold for three minutes. Keep an eye on their temperature bar. Uh, use the warm button near them to, jump button near them to warm them up with your warming bus. Uh, gather enough nectar to feed yourself and refill your nectar bar. Temperature of your eggs is low. No, my eggs! My eggs! Warm up! Okay, I gotta go get nectar. Hang on! Hang on! I need- I need food! I need to get the food! Or I'm gonna die myself! <laughs> give, give me the nectar! Give, give me the nectar! Ah, shit, it's the ones with fuzz. Ah. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm coming, my children, wait! <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. I didn't know it had to be the ones with fuzz. Okay, go, 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 go. We gotta get the ones with the, the, the sparkles. So I'll probably have time to do a two each, probably. If I'm quick about it, then I can do, uh, like, three... Also, are bumblebees this big? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm running out of energy. Children, children, children. I'm coming, I'm coming. Why do I always have to deal with the children? All right. My children haven't healed. Let's go over here, because there's flowers. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna die. Give me more nectar. More nectar. More nectar. Yeah, for the first minute I had to figure out what to do. <laughs> Alright, go, 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 go. I can manage my energy. It's fine. I need to <laughs> I need to heal the eggs. Keep the eggs alive. I'm not gonna do this. Oh, 
exactly there. Full. Okay. Um. I'm. I'm very low on my energy. Okay, there's one. Are these bees actually this big, or is this just like to get an idea of this is how it works? I think that's. I think it's just an idea to get what's. Oh, uh, I'm dead. My energy's way too low. <sighs> my children, wait. I didn't get enough nectar. No! My eggs. They're cold. Okay, now we know what to do. So. Oh, where the hell are the fuzzy things? Okay, so I have to get 20. This is gonna be the hardest one and I already know it. They threw an easy one at me, and now I have to do a hard one. Go, 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 I'm too far. I've already lost. Ah, I did it. <laughs> now I'm just gonna keep an eye on my eggs. Keep them nice and warm. Oops. I did it. This one took me the longest tries. <laughs> or the most. Little bees, little bees. Wait, so this is a whole colony? <laughs> Wait a second. Alright, now are we taking pictures? Uh, okay, the camera. So now we're in a tundra. Hang on a second. Can I, like, go in here as, like, is this the research center? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I could hopefully look at all my information at the end, so. Oh. Oh, actually. Okay. Erosion. Oh, it was erosion. <laughs> Melting of the permafrost is resulting in rapid changes to the landscapes as ice melts and causes the soil to flow away with the meltwater. Interesting. I didn't actually know that was one. I just took it because I saw weird bushes. <laughs> I, t I didn't know that was one. Siberian tiger. I was thinking about Siberian. Nice! Despite the Siberian tiger being a stealthy predator, not all its ambushes are successful. They must hunt often and always be vigilant about potential prey. I like how it's, this is like all about climate change and then this one's just like... They're just here, man. <laughs> Rock. Oh, you found a, a more leopard, leopard footprints. Place the field camera in the spot marked and leave it to take a picture of the armored leopard. Um, Amur. The armored leopard is one of the rarest big cats on earth due to loss of habitat and poaching. It is extremely difficult to spot them in the wild without a field camera. Come back later. Okay. Oh, it's already got it. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, you may think leopards only prowl the savannas of Africa, but they actually live in many different countries. The Amur leopard can be found in the mountainous forests of northern China and eastern Russia. Alright. That's cool. Alright, now I have to turn to the... Oh, okay, we actually have a researcher this time. Hello! I have a bunch of stuff. Hello! I see you have gathered all the material. The research material. Can you give it to me? Did you know that the world is now about 1.2 Celsius warmer than it was in the 19th century? Yes, I actually do know this. The amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has risen by 50%. That I didn't know. Ah, that's concerning. The more our climate changes, the more impact it could have on animals like the bumblebee and leopard. The suitable habitat for leopards is shrinking because of destruction to their habitats, largely caused by humans. Us. 
Climate change also threatens to reduce suitable forest habitat and availability of prey. Human interference and temperature rises must slow down if we want to avoid the worst consequences for these animals. Sometimes I feel sad when I think about the environmental problems we're facing. It helps me to, to remember the people that people all over the world are working together to make a difference. Protection has already helped Amar leopards to avoid extinction, and their numbers are certainly growing, which gives me hope. Humans can help to steady climate, climate by reducing emissions, re reusing products, reusing waste, and recycling waste. Reusing products, reducing waste, and recycling waste are all practices that can lead to emission reductions. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And I'm gonna add a fourth R onto that. Refuse. Refuse non-recyclable products like water bottle, like plastic water bottles or um, uh, sandwich bags. If you can take a plastic container that, I mean, if you can take like a reusable container, like uh, let's just say your lunch boxes you bring to school, or a metal water bottle, metal or plastic, whichever one, then that is already that is helping the world just by using reusable items. Let's work together to help save these amazing animals. Now I may have made him sound or this person sound like um, just very nasal, but this is actually a very serious topic. Uh, the world is gonna change as we know it. There's been hurricanes around the place, two of them, and the water was strangely warm uh, near one of them, Hurricane Fiona. Uh, that's the one that hit the Atlantic Maritimes, aka like New Brunswick, PEI, New Newfoundland, those areas. And uh, because the water was strangely warm, it allowed it to keep its like post-tropical uh, tendencies. So that's already a good example. And then these animals are dying due to deforestation, habitat loss, and poaching, which is people who are attacking them to sell stuff from them, like their fur, I believe. Uh, like illegal killing, hunting, I guess. So yeah, this is a very serious topic. Do whatever you can. Just like what he said, what this person said, just follow it, follow it, and use your four R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, refuse. Alright, I understand. Hey, we did it! <laughs> we completed Frozen Planet. So yeah. Take a picture of the screen to share with your friends. BBC Frozen Planet 2. So yeah, do whatever you can to uh, make your voice heard for this. I'm 100% me, myself. I'm genuinely like someone who wants to, to change things, but I just don't know how. I can play the game if you want. Alright, thank you. So, yeah, just, we got this. We will end climate change, or at least delay it long enough for us to do something proper about it. So do I have, like, everything? Ah, what? Well, that's not fair, man. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new posts. And don't forget to take a look at my other channel, Eyes' World. So let's stop climate change together and have a good day. Bye-bye!